so I want to tell you guys a story. This happened two years ago. Anyways, so so I'm on the I'm on Peachtree Street in downtown Atlanta, right across from the High Museum. I was meeting Megan's parents up there to go see a new exhibit. I think it was who? It's the Dutch Masters exhibit. So if that gives you an idea of what time of when it was, I can't remember. But anyways beautiful exhibit side note anyways so sitting there and there's a little like ledge by a flower bed I was just hanging out um, so I was chilling hanging out on this little ledge and this dude walks up sits down and we started talking and we probably talked for 30 45 minutes super cool dude basically he'd come down from up up north somewhere and he had a buddy that moved down here and he was working with his friend his friend got fired he got screwed out of a job so he was on his way up he was on his way back up north but he was living in like a, an old abandoned warehouse or something right now i don't I, I can't remember all the details as far as that goes so we're just sitting there talking uh, i really like talking to people so he would start a conversation with somebody that would walk up and I'd talk to somebody and we were just, it was just this huge ordeal of talking to people and he and I were having conversation off and on anytime somebody wasn't right there. And towards the end of our conversation, he looks at me and he's like, hey man, how long have you been on the streets? And I didn't live on the streets, but it, it really got to me, right? So I realized that it didn't matter. At the end of the day, it didn't matter where we lived. Um, was no barriers and the fact that when we started the conversation it didn't matter by the time we realized that the biggest difference between the two of us was I had a roof over my head and he didn't just crazy but it, it, it didn't change the conversation and it was really beautiful to me because so at one point he offered me some of his hey like a trail mix or something and he offered me some of it and and this sort of threw me for a loop right because there were people walking by that had on suits that cost more than the car I was driving at the time, probably. And nobody stopped to offer anything. Anyways, the point of this, the point of that little side note is that it blows my mind the socioeconomic setup of the world right now. You can throw around whatever numbers, 1% of the world has 99%, whatever. I, I don't care about that. The point is that there's so many people living with so much that walk by people that have absolutely nothing every day and they're cool with it. I don't understand. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm by no means saying that having money is bad. The issue comes with the temptation that comes with having money. I think that when you, when you have things, you're constantly wanting more. And having lots of earthly possessions can really quickly lead to greed and can really quickly lead to selfishness and all of the stuff that comes with that. And I think that that's what Jesus was talking about when he said that it's harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven than for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Not so much that money's bad, but just that it's so hard when you have a ton of worldly possessions to let go of them and to focus on God and serving people and loving people rather than focus on what you have and your possession. So, like I said, not saying that having money is bad. I think that it just makes our lives more difficult sometimes as far as serving people and loving people. So the moral of that story is to not, gosh, I, I hate this phrase, to not judge a book by its cover. It's so cheesy, but it's so true, right? So it went two ways. First of all, I sat down and talked to a dude who had absolutely nothing and it didn't matter because he was a human being and I was loving on him. And two, I wasn't living on the streets and apparently I looked like it. It's a side note, whatever. Also, believe it or not, every person is a person and every person has needs for human contact and for love and for a sense of value. Everyone deserves to have a conversation with somebody. And I think that we forget that a lot. We push people to the margins of society and let them just kind of hang out there. Oh, they'll find people in their own socioeconomic class to hang out with. I don't know if that's actually how people think, but that's kind of what it looks like sometimes, whatever. While I was editing this, I realized that I should probably clarify the fact that when, when I say some of these things about worldly possessions and clinging onto them and all of that jazz, uh, uh, 
I'm talking primarily from my experiences. So for example, when I get a new camera, all I wanna do is buy accessories for it, right? So this is pretty much all coming from what I've experienced in my life, not trying to point fingers. So since today's vlog is gonna be a little bit shorter, I just wanted to give a quick update slash have a conversation about these videos. So this is gonna be number 20, which is insane to me because it's flown by. It's been almost three weeks and still loving it, still having a blast making these things. I just wanna thank y'all so much for all of your support and for watching these things and uh, supporting me in this fun little side deal I'm doing. Keep it up, keep, keep sharing, liking, and all of that jazz. If you think that these things are worth sharing, then please, please share it. Your audience is gonna be different than mine. I'm sharing things that I think are worth sharing. So it's cool for me to see how many people actually watch this and how many people I actually get to be in conversation with every day. Please, please, please do not hesitate to comment in the comment section below beneath the video. Uh, and let me know if there's any topics or things that you want me to talk about, things that you want me to do, and give me feedback. Doesn't have to be positive by any means. Uh, if there's something that I'm doing terribly at, tell me. If there's something that I'm better at that you just absolutely despise, tell me. Obviously, it makes me happier when I hear good things, but they're not going to get any better if I'm constantly hearing good things when there's improvements that need to be made as well. That's that.